some sort of people's... A truck convoy came rolling into Parliament Hill in Ottawa over the weekend to protest a COVID vaccine mandate. As they moved along the nation's capital, the protesters defaced Canada's war memorial and the statue of Canadian cancer hero Terry Fox. The vandalism and desecration of the national monuments quickly drew an outcry from various sectors. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau himself called out the protesters' extreme actions and shut the door on any talks with the group. We are not intimidated by those who hurl insults and abuse at small business workers and steal food from the homeless. We won't give in to those who fly racist flags. We won't cave to those who engage in vandalism or dishonor the memory of our veterans. The mandate, introduced by both Canada and the U.S., requires all essential workers, including truck drivers, to be vaccinated or get tested for COVID-19 and quarantine. Filipino-Canadian trucker Gilbert Lanik said truckers knew this was coming. He urged his fellow truckers to recognize that COVID-19 is real and to just learn how to deal with it. About uh, vaccination, hindi po ako magdi-disagree dyan kasi nga nangyari nga sa buong mundo, hindi lang sa Canada. Uh-uh. And, uh, whatever happen, kahit ayaw nyo man sa hindi, dito sa Canada, nandito tayo nakatira, in the long run, talagang madadamay pa rin tayo. At the same time, Lanik warned that without truck drivers, the economy will collapse. Yung economy, babagsak talaga hindi. Yung isang linggo na lang, for example, na walang pabiyahe, wala lahat. Kung talagang uh, intention ng mga driver na gano'n na gagawin, wala tayo. Titigil talaga ang ano, yung supply, ano talaga, yung economy. Lanik's wife, Joanna Argao, who is also a trucker, said, she respects the stand of truck drivers who do not want to comply with the mandate, but she's afraid their message has been taken over by interested groups. Ang nangyari sa convoy na yun, hindi lang mga truckers yun, yung mga anti-vaccine din, sumama na sila. Kaya parang nagkaroon na ng nagkagulo-gulo na. The Canadian Trucking Alliance has also said many of the protesters have no connection to the trucking industry and have their own agenda. As the protest continues, Lanik and Argao urge unvaccinated truck drivers to comply with the mandate. I don't think naman na gumagawa sila ng mga ganong, ano ba tawag nyan, batas ba yan? O ma, ma, yung mandate na yan, is for their own personal interest, di ba? It's for the everyone's interest naman yon. Ang maapektuhan din sila kasi yung trabaho nila, di ba? Hindi sila magpapavaccine, eh, hindi naman din sila papapasukin ng Canada. Other Filipino-Canadians also stress their support for the vaccine mandate. They have the grounds because they have the right to like be free of what they are thinking of, their freedom of speech and everything. But at the end, you must think of your the safety of the people. Trudeau was moved to an undisclosed place last week due to threats to his security. Rowena Papasin, ABS-CBN News.